Hey, what's up, everybody? Steve here. How's it? I'm back to do a quick install and review of this item here. Check it out. So these are a knockoff of what I originally put on my Stealth, but um, they're the Slick Revolution Foamies. Uh, they come from the UK. This is a knockoff. I believe it's a Chinese knockoff called In Motion or Motion Electric. And they're 120 millimeter, 78 durometer off-road uh, off wheel that you can put on your boosted board. I'm going to show you the difference in size here. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, of course, the ride's going to get a little bit better, but you're going to lose out on your braking and your torque. But your high speed's going to be able to go up. So they're claiming that people are getting 31 miles an hour. We'll see about that. Uh, I myself, I'm not going to go 31 because I'll crash. But anyway, stick around. I'll be right back. Okay, so today's victim is the Boosted Mini. This is a, a board that I got off of eBay. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on it, being that the battery was broken, the extended range battery. Uh, hopefully there's a fix for that soon, or a legit fix for that soon. In the meantime, I got a standard range battery. Uh, I got it for a couple hundred bucks, so this is a pretty good deal in the long run because I got a pretty much a brand new Mini. This thing had 20 miles on it when I got it. Um, and for those of you that know uh, how the ride is on a Mini, uh, you'll appreciate this because the ride gets a lot better with these foamies here. One thing I gotta say uh, before we move on is that uh, we did have an issue with the motor covers. These don't go back on with the supplied uh, washers. So Slick Revolution's uh, kit comes with 10 washers. Uh, I had five and five. Actually, there's one on here already. So six and six it is not enough clearance for this bugger to go back on. So locally at one of our local stores, I found this uh, 19 millimeter spacer washer and it's a little bigger than uh, the actual outside diameter is a little bigger than the Slick Revolution ones, but this matches up 19 mil. So it's almost perfect. I put this all the way on the inside of the wheel and that'll do it. You put those on, this cover will go back on no problem, okay? Oh, also one more thing. Bearings are on there already, right? This will not go on uh, the 19 mil part on the, the inside part of the uh, axle here. So you're gonna have to pull your bearings out like so, okay? Then it'll go on and the spacers will be out here. So none of that will get in the way. It'll work fine. Okay, so before we get started, I'm gonna walk you through the whole process here. We're gonna start with the motor covers, which has two Allen bolts on there, and then we're gonna go for the motor mounts. There's four bolts there. That'll release some tension on the belts, and that'll make it easier for us to pull the wheels off. And let's not forget that uh, we have to take off the axle bolts to pull the wheel off, and we should be good after that, okay? So we'll get started right about now. Okay, I forgot one thing. I needed to add a half inch riser. So I put this on last night and I was getting some wheel bite over here. I don't know if you can see it over there. It scuffed the, the protector there, so. But, um, yeah, so I had this half inch block riser. I know, it's purple. It's going on my other board. It's going on the Stealth. But I put it on here just to test it out because I have some half inch risers on the way. And it works, no wheel bite. The ride is a hundred times smoother just off of these wheels here. If I go over a sidewalk or something like that, it's like nothing, man.
Okay, so some final thoughts. Uh, you know, I did a couple of runs. I averaged 20 uh, on one app. And then on another app, uh, Relive, it got me going 23. So I'm not too sure how much of an improvement it is. I know I'm a big boy, so this thing really had to work to get me up there. Um, I didn't speed test uh, the Stealth yet. But uh, one thing I wanted to mention before, and I didn't mention earlier, that these wheels have this foam core technology. So there's a foam core in here and that's what makes it a little smoother a little squishier you know um i don't know how they compare it to the 105s uh that boosted put out before they closed down but i didn't get my hands on any so i opted to go for these because i saw a lot of good reviews online and whatnot on amazon and from the uk so i went and i got these um i highly recommend them because the ride on both of these got a lot smoother i mean i can take this thing off-roading um, I didn't want to take this off-roading and mess with it too much yet because I just got it. So I'm not too sure. I'm still getting familiarized with the Boosted Mini. You know, they, they really improve the ride quality on, on both boards. But you sacrifice torque again and you sacrifice braking distance. You're going to um, almost double it on both boards actually. Uh, more so the Mini. Is it worth it? Now you get used to the braking, play around within the beginning and you'll get used to it and you should be fine. I like it, I'm keeping them. And actually since Boosted shut down, I decided, you know, these warranties are already. So I'm gonna refurbish both boards. I'm turning this on purple. Um, I don't know what's the deal on the grip tape yet, but everything underneath is gonna be almost all purple. This one's gonna be black. That's why I got these these uh, motion electric wheels. Um, I'll keep everybody updated on what's going on with these two. And and I mean, boosted closed down, so what are we gonna do? Uh, you might as well take care of them, uh, get all the parts that you can, because uh, I still love my boosted boards. Oh, and if you go to eSkate or eBoarder.com, I believe they're making an announcement in July. They, I believe they came up with a solution to the extended range battery issues on the boosted mini and the version twos. Oh, and also I wanted to send a shout out to Flatland 3D. They sent me the extra washers for both boards, actually. They sent me a handful in the envelope. I really appreciate it. You guys are the greatest. Hey, so that's all I got for today. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did so, please like, share, and subscribe below. And until next time, take care and aloha.